Hi, I'm Megabertson46, and I'm glad to be back with another Behind the Seeds. And then after that, I'll give you my editorial of this episode after I've seen the premiere. On this second episode is where the McQueens and Tolan go to Desert Hills. Right after Tolan's stuck with Newmount Plus, he cannot have control of picking a location. As according to Syllables contract, Nicholas and Joey does. But unfortunately, once they get news about the sandstorm, the crew just left it behind. And the one uh, the thumbnail is, of course, the Lord Blackfoot, but we'll t tell you more about it. Anyway, let's get this started. And yeah, the first thing I want to do is, of course, want to make the address to the elephant in the room of why would I include Talia in this scene, and you'll find out why. But first, I did come up with the idea where the McQueens, of course, go to the mansion, or Blackfoot Castle, excuse me, but yeah, but it is ruined, so... Like, it's like Wankford Castle yeah, at North Lumberland. And Alwood Castle is the one that's currently held at the Percy's, which since the Blackfoots are based on the Percy's. And the Nevilles are the Pythons. But in this seat, of course, are tall and go sit on the throne. I got that line from Borat, and I thought it would be cool doing that. Like, I have a chair, I have a chair. But I did at the scene where Nick did call Grace annoying. And to be fair, she is. You go do this, you go do this, I am the king of this castle. It's, yeah, I, it, I love that scene in Borat. But although, in this one, where Nick just referenced Grace, so I say, it's funny that have to do, be friends with the one with an annoying voice. And Joseph's like, She's not here, is she? And then, of course, Nick dies in there. And Barbara scoops out his brain, as we heard Talia say afterwards. No one calls Grace annoying. Yeah, like that. Wait a minute. How did you get her? <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that little scare tactic. It got you guys for a second. But uh, back to serious business. On this one, we're tallin' Yep. We're tallin' says I would rather drink a can of tea to piss. Thanks, but he told them at Queen's that. And yes, and this is an irony for him that he did. In fact, drink a can of tea to piss. Of course, uh -huh. Tolly gets a humiliation. And, uh, but I'm sorry if you guys, like, <laughs> don't like that. <laughs> I thought it'd be a good idea, but I got that idea from Chris Jericho pissing in William Regal's cup of tea. And WWE Raw. That's a defiance. No, that is some hilarious But yes, with the McQueen's. <laughs> of course, doing it in fair straight, although this was mainly Nick's idea. Uh, and the candy tea boy got fired because he had too much energy corn. drinks and he had pissed on the empty can of tea. But yeah. And this one? The McQueen's thought they got off scot free, but nope. He did say he would they did not get off scot free. They're going to be busted in five, <laughs> four, three, if he two, not let us do the power and to right on time, got that? On to the next one. <laughs> Isn't this 
And on this one, of course, where the McQueeds are following the Duke with the three half goggles, while Talon does not. Because it's to be fair, they are here to humiliate him. And this is a bigger humiliation for Talon. And although, he caused it up so much misery. But with playing some Pokemon Mystery Dungeon music, Talon gets the Mario Kart one. Hey. And it's unfortunate for him. Pain in the ass for him. <laughs> Even with misery. Yup. He's crying like a baby when he does that. <laughs> but in this one, I, the biggest fourth wall joke I ever made. Or of course, getting too personal with me. Where he was talking to me. Ask Camilla, does yours. Yep. When he refers to here. that fucking so cunt, Camilla name. McQueen, and of course everyone knows you, how I feel about Camilla. Me more but about let this Camilla be a lesson to y'all when he does oh, this. Yeah? Well, two can play that game, you piece of Never <laughs> fuck with me. <laughs> Yeah, this one, I do want to make it like a very Brother, emotional what? scene between Where are you going? the two you brothers from a long time ago, what's, what's and why the weren't way? they appeared you know, on, totally why did they they did not appear on Bowser's Cooling, when Camilla mentioned having five brothers on Zombie Invasion, because I just want to do my take, and, like, you know, rather make the McQueeds the protagonist, rather than the, the, the antagonist, even though they like to have their little fun with Tom. But in this one, this is a very serious moment, and this scene, I'm not gonna lie, did brought me to tears, because of how emotional it is. And even the whisper? Tell me if this seat makes you tug your heart strings. You know? If it did. But if it didn't, I apologize. For it. You know, I really do. But I'm trying to shake off the rust. Like I said in my last editorial. But I do like to add a couple more scenes. No matter what. But, yeah. I'll get there shortly. Right about now. Nick? And yes. Aren't you supposed to I did include that Blackfoot Shut scene up. right here. It's you, Lord Blackfoot. You look like you Where, of course, to see, they make it more like touching. Even I though Lord Blackfoot here, said something about the back of the museum. But although Nick wanted to confess to Lord Blackfoot, even though he didn't want to do that in front of Tolan, it's because, you know, Nick doesn't trust Tolan enough. And Tolan don't like him, and it, or his brother. And Nick can't blame him for that, but... He just confessed to Blackfoot that the reason why he was kicked out of the mansion is because... He refused to marry the father's proposal of marriage between him and Lord Blackfoot's eldest daughter. And Nick is tired of him trying to politic his way into royalty. But in this scene, where Tolan just found out about Nick as he walked in, but Nick was not aware of Tolan. But Tony can't be allowed to shout about why Nick didn't tell him that. Because he can't break his current conditions of contract, which includes not allowed to discuss investigation towards his family. But in this one, begins the interview. With Lord Blackfoot. You, you brother, have a video but uh, how do you I don't want to keep y'all bored anyway. I don't. So, next scene. For yeah, and it's right Sorry, in this family, scene. Huh? Where Lord Blackfoot, the 12th of Sankake Dudes, 
12 Duke of Sankei dudes meet the family at the exhibit with Tallinn and the McQueens. It's introducing to the family because of history lessons. And I am a fan of the Wars of the Frozen Flame series. I absolutely recommend checking this out. Series out if you're interested in an expansion of the Koopa Throne. Which is course about between Cayenne Cracks and Sherbert. Like Lancaster and York. You know, fight for a th for the throne. In the Wars of Frozen Flames, which is like Simon Wars of the Roses. Unfortunately, the second Earl was but in, in this family, Lord and I say once, I'll say again, who was the fifth Earl of Bristlewood Blackfoot Bay, are based well the on the Percy's, the and the Neville's Blackfoot are based on Pythons. And yeah, who was also I did include the children. As he, his children, and his brothers, Which they Michael did Case, participate in the second Waterlogged water water March. While Sandra Ronan, while Sandra Ronan, Ronan are in Battleside River Side Park. Yep. I heard about the but Sidegard and Hayes were with Garnet. They committed the murder to the, the Lord Casimir. Of House Casimir. Your and yeah, and that's it. Which everyone was very distraught and crying over. And that was devastating. Even though I'm a supporter of Cayenne Cracks, but what Garnet just did was very dirty. It just figured burning down the castle is the Queen's orders. He just did this to frame Cinder. While her husband's locked away in the tower. No spoilers. Fuck. Hey, yeah. Sorry. I <laughs> like you. Never and, post spoilers. And that's why I called him Hump Tallinn. Uh, you've mistaken me for Tom Holland. Exactly, because Tom Holland does spoilers. Yeah, movie review. For movies. And I never got to see it. Thanks a lot. And of course, he never hey, catches his mouth hey. shut. Aside from that, any family members who fought in other wars besides the wars of Frozen Flames? Yep. And yeah, it is a very interesting thing to do, especially after seeing the Carl episode, A School Trip. But I just want to make a museum of my own, you know? the 10th made it home after the victory. And that's about it. So tell me, Nicholas. But in this scene from earlier I just mentioned, yes, the Byron McQueen. Yeah. One for Belser's Kubelings, not the ones for the Wars of Frozen Flames. About trying to get one of his sons to yeah, I forgot to pitch of some of the Blackfoot's lines. To you. Uh, well... But this one I got from South Park. A tattered, will be close but unfortunately, they are about to be escorted to out to the museum. Well, not escorted out, but get told to fuck off. But you can't Which stay does here at the make him look like total dickhead hating his job. And on this one, I just want to make the scene where the McQueen's and Tolan encounter Lord so Blackfoot, who, the are you who is the 12th Duke of Sickhake Dudes. Mother but yeah, like they that is a confirmation lady. right here. Don't but I can't confirm that this is the same Lord Blackfoot that was the King's Claw to Bowser oh, before he got let go for being too bothersome. Especially when they get to the bathroom but let when me Bowser replace. was trying to go in the bar. What are your names? But yes, I did say just want to make a spin-off to Bowser's Jubilees, since those two are Camilla's brothers. And I'd rather want to make them the protagonists rather than the antagonists. And yeah, the reference, of course, is just Tallinn being a Brokeback Mountain-looking Bellin. Of course, he does look like Cowboy, because, I, because you know... As a creator myself, so I was man. born in Texas, and, in that matter, and I'm living in Texas, you know? I have some just what a more like an adventurous look, like Cowboy. You. And you must be 
Lord Simon and of course, James you know, and that's how I want to probably introduce him. Okay. Lord Simon James Satterley Black. Twelfth Duke of St. Castle. But yes, yes, yeah, and I apologize for just a mirage, just like the, uh, uh, the I, I want to address the, the elephant in the room first. Just but this one is my personal favorite doing the through script. Through because the museum. first time I read through oh, the script and did the, the voice still come to life, especially the for a scene rather than pa, character pa. breakdown. But the motherfucker just ate it up. If it do, I was wrong. You are in the, the gigabytes. I want you to do one thing for me. I, I want you to be a good boy and put a fucking sock in it. Uh, yes, yes, daddy. Uh, and that's my I'm favorite scene to do again. where he called. I don't want anyone Nick making Daddy. any trope in this series with you committing a whole gay trope. But I'll know I just do it for, you know, like that a possible idea? ship you tease, because I know what shipping is. In the anime, I do see some, some of the Yaoi fan art. Even though I'm not a fan of Yaoi, but I know what that is. Okay, time for the editorial. Now, this one is my personal favorite episode to do of... Kate of the Court to Hop Talad. Where, of course, not just to give the McQuaid's a origin story, and not just Talad tried to start a developed friendship with those two, even though it's an unlikely one, but adding the lore to the Freeze Flame universe, and, you know, and making a spit off of Bowser's Koopalings, and with a bit of Wars of Frozen Flames connection. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I have a barbecue. Uh, I have a brisker grilled cheese at the travel center. So, <laughs> yeah, that's one of my favorites. I can't resist good barbecue. But also added in the character that is like a from the f family that's been around since the Wars of Frozen Flames. And yes, and I do recommend you guys check out the series. It's if you're a fan of. War history, because this one was based on a civil war that's more bloodier than the U.S. Civil War. And I absolutely recommend that. But in, this one is one of my personal favorites. And this is the first time I've done it in a script. That I read through the script while recording. And make it much easier. But the Eddie one is a, still a pain in the ass. But, however, it was worth it, though. So, every time I have, you know, to stop, I edit that out to, sh to make sure it, the, sync, the lines were joined in together. And that's how it is. But this uh, editorial is rather be unedited, so, to leave that alone. But, however, I do love... Doing this episode, cause that's been an idea for a long time. And plus, we are in October, so I was gotta do something that is Halloween related, like scaring people with the murderous Talia, where I include the murderous Talia, where she said no one calls Grace annoying, where she was a meme, of course, and. And of course, you know, that's the line from Boo's Big Date, however. When Emily just called Grace annoying and criticized her, Talia, and Roxanne. But although, although there was a meme that Bessie had created, even though I went along with it, it read, Someone calls Grace annoying, Talia murders them. No questions asked. But yeah, I mean, I do have a few of what happens when you call Grace annoying. From Calvin, Emily, Mary Lynn, Boo Hoo, and a Bisbal recently. Where, of course, you know, she just straight up murder them. But back to the episode, however. I really enjoyed making this one. Uh, there's no emotion for this one this time. But yeah, I also do want to make it the sad scene. And of course, 
extend the lore to the uh, history of the Cooper Throne, which I have in the Reach Flame Dark. But, but for the next episode, it's going to be a doozy. The fight seed, there's going to be involving with swords. And here's the thumbnail. And for this, however, on this thumbnail, it's going to be a really hard episode to do because I won't be able to do all the voices. Because if you're a female that uh, auditioned for uh, Freeze Flame but didn't get the part, you know, beat out by Yuri at Blue Pastels, those two are really talented, but, you know, I'm here to give every everyone a chance is, you know, to voice, like, sub characters, like, Macy Belciaga, who is, uh, like, a, the original design of Princess Anna Koopa, from the first, second, and third update of the Koopa Monarch, but, just want to make sure it gets uh, a little changes, of Sprite Designer, and of course, it that's the one that, uh, if you see a uh, Joey McQueen, uh, with a falling, and he's having a crush on, because that's, that's going to be his crush, so. But yeah, it's just a need a female, if, you know, they'd be up for it. If any other female would be up for it, the role of Macy Balenciaga. She's like a really kind hearted. She's kind-hearted, and she's very taken up to Joey's liking. But, and for the sword fight, it's going to be taking a little while to get this episode done. As I'm not going to have time to do a episode 5 for a Christmas special. You know, but make it like pseudo-Christmas special. And you know, they say Christmas came late this year. But, yeah, which is the fifth one. And, of course, you know, there'd be two female characters introduced, along with the three belts. Which I originally named the Kensington family, but they're going to be the Kingsleys. Will their last name be named after a chess piece? Since the Queens are named after the Queen chess piece. But, yeah, there's Tamali, Absalon, and Alistair. Or... The males. But the ones that are the females of the family. Or the adult children of course. Of Nathaniel. Are. Eloni who's the last born. And the middle child. Is. Serafina. Kingsley. Who of course gets mistreated. By her own siblings. But although. When she meets Nick. They start. A develop. A friendship. A very unlikely one, but hey, I'll take it. But although, and thank you very much, everyone, for watching my editorial. And this was going to take a little longer, but I'll think of it a way. If anyone would be available to, you know, to play any of those female characters, or you know, if they can't do all three, man, I could. See if there's any opportunity for y'all. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.